Hey there all folks, this is Ben and welcome back to Untold Raw Secrets where we unravel the juiciest raw secrets and expose the controversial truths that the media doesn't want you guys to know about. Now ladies and gentlemen, it's incredible isn't it? The saga of Harry and Meghan continues and this time they've managed to stir up trouble once again. But really, should any of us be surprised? I mean, we've seen this pattern before. It's like a broken record playing the same tune over and over again. Megan, the spotlight-hungry celebrity and Prince Harry, her willing accomplice, seem to thrive on drama, controversy and victimhood. But before we delve into their latest escapades, guys, let's take a moment to reflect on something important. But before we dive into the cringeworthy moments of today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I've got plenty more Royal Family Revelations coming your way and you won't want to miss them. So, do you guys remember back in 2018 when Meghan Markle was about to marry Prince Harry? There was this expectation that her father, Thomas Markle Sr., would walk her down the aisle. It was a heartfelt anticipation shared by many. But what happened instead? The media, those relentless hunters of sensational stories, reached out to Thomas asking him questions. He, being a father who wanted to protect his daughter's privacy, didn't divulge anything harmful. However, Meghan's reaction was a swift and drastic one. She cut ties with him and changed their phone numbers, cutting him out of her life. Now, what's truly shocking here is not just Meghan's reaction, but how she made life difficult for the royal family. Queen Elizabeth, in an attempt to resolve the situation, offered her private jet for Meghan to visit her father in California. Despite this gesture, Meghan remained stubborn, refusing to reconcile with her own flesh and blood. This incident showcased Meghan's narcissistic tendencies and her penchant for victimhood and unwillingness to bend bridges with her own family. Now, let's fast forward to the present, where Meghan and Harry find themselves in hot water yet again. This time, it's their employer, WME, a Hollywood-based talent agency that's issuing a warning. And you know what this warning is about? It's simple. Stay in your lane. Meghan and Harry, in their infinite wisdom, decided to wade into the complicated waters of international politics, criticising Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But their employer wasn't having any of it. The agency warned them against joining a toxic debate that could create lasting division in Hollywood and potentially a freeze amount of opportunities. And why did they get this warning? Well, if we look at their track record, it's not hard to see. Meghan's rebellious nature and refusal to heed advice led to disastrous podcast deals. Despite being advised to involve members of the royal family in the podcast, Meghan went ahead with her own ideas alienating her employer and delivering subpar results. The audacity of Meghan and Harry, who are neither kings nor queens in any realm, to insert themselves into international politics and issues. Statements on behalf of the Royal Foundation in mind-boggling. Who are they to take such a stance? It's as if they are in a wonderland where their opinions are make-believe. So what's your take on this, guys? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more raw news and analysis.